All right. So we could always use a little towel if you have your belts on hand. You're gonna play with the width a little bit, but we do wanna bring it into our elbow gap through here, okay? Just below your elbow. So if you find the or crease. Just below your crease. Right through there. And then we're gonna to try to bend a little more. So we're gonna do a little bit of a pull and as we bring our hand towards our shoulder. Just try to get a little joint space mobilization oh, for our elbow to increase that range of motion. That. So we can do a so little bit like of that. Yeah, I have to <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you should feel like a little bit of a stretch yeah, going yeah. on as you're tugging. Yeah. Okay. We can also fold it up just a little bit more. So that's your pull okay. point. And then we could just hold it right into the joint yeah, space yeah, right and use our other hand to help get a little so extra of, stretch too. Uh, yeah, you get what I mean? Again, we could play with how thick the belt is. If you don't feel that much of a stretch, you could fold it up a little yeah, more. So I'd probably a towel works really well too, and just getting it right into that joint space. So, so if you're noticing your elbows not bending like as much, oh, okay. there's a good way to do it. You can do it while holding it. So getting a little yeah. bit of self joint mobilization. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Doing okay with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah pull yeah. away. Yeah. And then you can hold for a few that. seconds just to help stretch that joint yeah. and then relax. Yeah. You can always do it on both sides. I know my right side is a little stiff too. Yeah. Yeah, and so everyone, the whole, whole idea is to, and I'll, I'll use you yeah. Gina as an example. What we're kind of trying to do with the belt is like I'm pulling away as she's going into flexion. It becomes that fulcrum or that pivot point. That's kind of what we're looking for. And so you can do it um, as she was doing either with the pull or just by having this here and then fulcruming away, if that makes sense. Yeah. So right over here, right? So mm -hmm. you can have it here. So use this. You're going to put a little tension, and then you're going to bend. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Okay. Yeah. And so you can sort of rock into so that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. Just to okay. create a little bit of a stretch through there. So you could do a little pulsing method through yeah, there. There we go. Or you yeah. can just fold it up and then just use your other hand yeah, to just help to work that into that stretch. You should make a crease. Right yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So now we do have, oh, uh, we did want to show you one more with the oh. belt, if you want to show it yeah, with yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so what we could do, you know how we were going above, um, up like this? Uh, if you're having problems with kind of palm facing out with this down part, what you can do is try to pull up with this top hand. And then if you were, ha yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's challenging. Um, and then if you had problems with the, um, the top arm, you can pull down. The trick with this is to not, not start moving away from it, not start trying to get it out of, out of a, a pure plane. We want to be perfect. So, so for instance, Andrew, he is shying away, we want to try to keep him in this position as he's pulling up or down, not over here. That's yeah. not doing you any good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little nuanced, but. And the way we just also, you guys are doing pretty good just watching that we're not rolling our shoulder forward, <laughs> right? That Standing well. nice and tall, keeping that shoulder back a little bit more. You might not be able to go as far because sometimes we want to compensate by leaning forward or sticking that shoulder forward, but we want to try to bring it back and work into that stretch, yeah. Good. Yeah. Again, making sure we're working both sides too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Doing some strengthening. Strengthening, yeah. Um, I was gonna do a little bit for elbow, for arm bars, for like either like a plank or rotation, or if there's anything else you want to do. Yeah, I've got yeah. thoughts. Okay. Did you want to show something? Or? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Since we have the belt now, uh, we're gonna go back to the elbow. Uh, because as I was saying over here, it's not sufficient just to have the mobility, right? You want to gain the range, then you want to train the range, as we like to say. So something that's just super simple with your belt, um, you can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with all kinds of things. Um, we'll have our, our, our arm extended, you know, uh, maybe a little bit below 90 degrees. We'll keep into extension, full extension of the elbow, and I'm actually pulling down just a little bit. And now I'm kind of fighting myself as I'm coming up through this range. We're only going to go maybe halfway through the range. 
Try to keep your wrist neutral, so don't let it bend back. Keep it there. Yeah. Great point. Keep the wrist in neutral. And so I'm just pulling from that bicep. You should feel that tension in the bicep. Full extension, right? That's what we're working on. Full extension. Pull up. And that's only 50%. Pull. Uh, allow yourself to come down. Okay? So we still have tension, but you're giving yourself that resistance in the extension. Good. Is that, is that clear, everyone? Pull, pull, what we're trying pull, to shoot for? Pull, 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 and really pull, keep pull, that pull, at the end, good. right? And then on the way down. Good. Slowly, slow, slow, this slow. This very slow. end so range you're is connected. where you're going to be weakest. The movement. And yeah. so that's going to be where you need to be most you know, resilient. Yep. Good, good. Keep that tension through there. And again, you can do this at the gym and uh, with weights. Yep, yep, good. Especially uh, on the way down. Just make sure you down, always right? get this is where we get caught in our armbar. To that end range. Yep, all the way. Yeah, it's, it's going to probably suck, <laughs> particularly if you have some limitations. But you can work. But what happens if you get an armbar? You arm can bar? restore that. Absolutely. You can restore that range. Yeah. <laughs> Cry. Good. Cry out. Good. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, another one that we can work into just to work onto that extension is what I'd like to do if we want to get all the way on the ground. So once we get, um, so if we have any elbow injuries, right, once we get that range of motion back and we're starting to strengthen, we also want to be able to load it a bit too, right? So I do like working into planks, right? So if you are having some issues, we can always start with uh, hands and knees first, right? And we're loading onto, keeping our elbows straight, shifting our weight forward and back, making sure our elbows are nice and straight. Palms into the ground as well. Yep. So that we're starting to load onto our shoulders, our elbows. And then as that gets easier, then we want to go a little bit more into a plank position. And just translate all the way out. So and we're carrying a little bit more of our body just weight. Translate forward. And, yeah. Yeah. This is another one that should probably suck pretty, pretty good at the end. Feeling okay through there? Yeah. And then from there, again. You feel that at the end? As long as you yeah. guys are feeling okay, you guys don't have any injuries. Um, from here. What I like to do is start loading one side versus the other, so we could do a little bit tapping. Oh, my bad. Keeping our core nice and tight, try not to shift our hips too much. Good, we can start moving into shoulder taps. Make sure those hips stay level for this. Good. And then after that, we're going to go into a rotation. Coming up. Now the hips are going to rotate. Good. All the way up. Now as we're rotating, making sure we're staying pretty stacked, we're not letting our shoulder collapse. Yeah. Push away from the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Feeling OK with that? So various levels of trying to start loading up onto the elbows, the wrists, and the shoulders. But it's also about quality, not quantity, right? Want to make sure that we're mindful in that position. Because if we're just doing it, you know, lackadaisical, then you're not getting what you're trying to get out of it. And that's just a waste of time for everybody, right? How's everyone feeling? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead. Did you want to do a little bit of legs? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I know we focus a lot on the upper body. Well, I guess before we move uh, mm -hmm. and transition, uh, any questions uh, on the upper body uh, before we do make maybe a transition to the lower body? We feeling okay? Is there one like for the neck that you guys like to do? Um. Yeah. Do you want to show them anything always, for the neck? I always have yeah. thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so for the neck specifically, what we like to do in the clinic is make sure that the neck is on a stable base first. So it's a lot of shoulder blade strengthening, which is most people's limitations. Um, obviously, there's a lot of neck you know, stuff here in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So what, um, 
so we can safely assume that your neck is probably pretty strong. Okay. Uh, you might have issues or aches and pains in your neck, but it's probably coming from these muscles right here. Okay. There are, um, I believe it's uh, 50 muscles total that can uh, that work with your uh, shoulder blade. Okay. So those muscles need to be good and strong. Um, what I'll probably suggest uh, for that part is uh, things like, you know, maybe take a band, you can even, um, um, uh, you can really take anything and be pinching back like this, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna have problems with that. I just see everyone's posture here, okay? Very here, uh, yeah. pec dominant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we do do a lot of pulling in jiu-jitsu yeah. where we're doing like yeah. a lot of that. Exactly. Yeah, and, and even as you're pulling, and so like pull me, just kind of pull me right now. Yeah. Pull me? Uh -huh. Yeah. If you see, your, your shoulder blades come up immediately, immediately. Right. Let's try one more time. Uh -huh. Shoulder blades, yeah. or shoulders come up. What we really want is this pull back and down. Okay, you're actually gonna be a lot stronger okay. in that position. Uh -huh. I mean, maybe not at first, because <laughs> you're just not used to it. Um, but we have a lot more muscles, our lats, um, you, you even have fascia that goes down to, to our glutes, even if we're on our knees and we pull down and back like that. Okay, that's, uh, you know, in competition, you, you got to do what you got to do. But in practice, if we're doing that, we're probably going to be a lot more successful and have less neck pain. We're offloading the neck and loading the muscles that, the shoulders that are supposed to be loaded. Did I answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, no, of course, of course. <laughs> great, great question. Let's see. Any other questions that you guys had about the upper body? No? All right. Okay, let's go on to a little bit of the lower body. Um, so, got a lot of knee issues, right? Ankle issues. I would say we see a lot of knee yeah. injuries, right, in the gym. Do you guys all agree? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you guys really think it's stemming from the knee? No. Awesome. Where do you think it's stemming from? Larry. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so, <laughs> other than Larry, where do you guys, it's really stemming from? Hips, yeah, nice. ankles, nice. exactly, Hip right? Mobility. Hip mobility, yes, right? So, when we're doing a lot of de la Hiva, like uh, leg, leg entanglements, like single leg X, right, things like that, where we need to sort of wrap around our opponent, if we don't have the hip mobility, where do you think all that... Uh, force is going to go to the knee, right? So just send you my viral you real quick again. I know. <laughs> so <laughs> de la Hiva, right? So we're wrapping outward and in, right? So if we don't have this mobility here, right? So if I'm really stiff here, right? All that pressure is going to go more into that knee, right? And so when we start no, now when our partner starts moving, starts applying pressure, right, it's going to go right into here, right? Either our lateral on the outside of our knee, those ligaments, or sometimes in the uh, inside, even for Tristan here too, coming that way, right? Putting a little bit more force, or if he turns out as well. So we'd want to really be able to have that mobility into our hips. Same thing with single leg X, right? If I don't have that mobility to come around, it's gonna really affect my knee, okay? So let's go ahead, let's check our hip mobility. Um, you wanna do just a regular ERIR hip mobility check or a 90-90? So we're gonna partner up, but Matthew's gonna uh, show you how to check for your partner. Yeah, uh, so we'll start with the right side. Um, we'll just kinda be 90, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees at the hip. And now we're not crossing over, we're not lifting out, we're just keeping uh, knee straight to the uh, ceiling and we'll kind of go in I'm gonna call this in and then out okay yeah we're just pivoting on this point so like if there was a skewer through her knee we're just going this way and this way why don't you guys partner up with each other person who's and getting tested just try to be relaxed and let your partner relax. move yes yes don't go too far don't be hurting each yeah. other <laughs> you gotta pay extra for that <laughs> yeah, watch you guys partner up. Again, checking side to side. If you notice on your partner, one side is more stiff. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like a little tight through there. Like, what's he got? It's not that uh, bad, Justin. About, yeah, no, yeah. about 20, Let, Let's 25. try the other side. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's always from that parallel. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Um, but ideal is 45. Like, that's, that's where 45 you got a lot more yeah. internal rotation. That's really what we're this for, one. So. so this one moves this way a lot more, right? Yeah, so external, that's Here's that's a little limited. Because um, most people, particularly one, men, particularly as we get a little so bit older, here, will have a little bit more external right, so than the internal. Other side's going a little you bit have a little bit less right. external. A little bit tighter into this hip. And then go... Yeah, here. Good on that side. Yeah. 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 Side. yeah. It's like opposites for you, right? So. That, that, so yeah, the internal. Yeah. Is limited, right. So. You could check Andrews yeah. too. <laughs> it's just something to be mindful of, right? I mean, I, at least today when I was. Um, <laughs> that's that's a great thing. You're still young, man. You guys still got a lot of life to live. Yeah. When we um, uh, when we were doing one yeah. of the movements today, at least uh, for me. Um, a little limited in your action. Part of it, I was here. Right? Yeah, that's that's. Pretty, and then I had to go like this tight. and then drop my. My leg. The other side. If you can't do that, then yep. um, you're going to have a problem. <laughs> so that's oh, yeah. where the internal rotation yeah. Yeah. can kind of. Uh, you can sort of see that difference, right? When his foot's coming yeah. in. Yeah. That's not too bad through there. Like yeah. 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 Love right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good mobility. Let me see how yeah. you're done. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's flexible. Yeah. Better. And then we're Good. looking for asymmetry side the to other side, side as well. Right. Um, <laughs> do you feel a pinch in there? Here. No? That's a good thing. Not too bad. Yeah, hip mobility is pretty good. I think your left side is just a little tight into this way. Okay. But still pretty so, good. How so about yours? Go. Did you check yours yet? What's a good mobility like on your legs? So you want both, right? So, yeah, so when you're here, like, if this is like here, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually should, normal is equal. 45 degrees from side to side from, from, from normal. And so like, yeah, do you feel that pinch in there? Yeah, yeah. right, so I know. So you have a little bit of impingement. A lot of there. people have um, this range and then we'll, yeah, we can more, right? Side. Versus this range, so a lot right? More external so we definitely want to work side, think, both, and then right? And then if you notice, sure. yeah. well, Tristan, yeah, Andrew, that, that's something to a couple really, other really people, on. one side, they have um, more range coming this way. I mean, even in my hour this way. here, the other side has more this way, and then a little less this way. You know, for like, you know, I was in closed garden, then I had to do this and squeeze. But if I can't get there, then, yeah. Right, yeah, so you get that mobility, mobility there, right? One. Other side, if you notice, like, I don't play that much, it's a little stiffer. So you want to be able to work into that still. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and so if you go, go back into that, actually, that's feeling. a good one. Because, like, <laughs> Tight. if you have the mobility, <laughs> Let me check yours. you can give a little bit more before those hips. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, pretty good yeah. there. Yeah. Let's try My fault. And, and then uh, I don't know if I said it, but you know we're also looking at like <laughs> so asymmetry side to side, here. Rotation. right? Because you don't want to get caught on your Ooh. bad side. But you don't always a have a choice on this right side. <laughs> in the matter, right? Not too bad on this left side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And so if we keep going, right, your hips, and then sometimes we'll start feeling in that knee, yeah, right? So maybe this knee. That knee, yeah. yeah. So, so you can see if the hip is not moving as well. So once you get to your end range, you start pushing more. All that pressure is going right to that. Not be like that when he gets older, right? man. That's what now it is. I'm putting more force into it, right? So if I'm like yeah, right. rolling, okay. right, you bring go, it through, and he's pushing, it right? And get it. That's gonna blow, right? <laughs> So that's what we want to watch out for. So we want to get that mobility through our hips more so our knee's not taking it. Knee's not really have, supposed to have that much force laterally, right? Right. So it's really our strength from our hips and the mobility from our hips that's going to help us prevent knee injuries. Yeah. Who, who here felt a difference uh, for their side to side? Yeah? Did you feel like it was going more like this way that was more limited or this way? Yeah. Uh, you saying this way? Yeah. yeah, yeah. For most people, that's called internal rotation. If your leg, if your foot is going out, that's called internal rotation. Uh, did anything feel pinchy yeah. on that limited side? Right, pinchy in the hip. Yeah. So that's what we call hip impingement, and so um, that's just some of the muscles kind of getting caught up in here. And uh, you know, we were just talking about the importance of particularly hip internal rotation that it seems like a lot of you guys had some um, difficulty with. Um, in your various movements, if someone's tweaking like you like this, 
you have to give if you're limited in internal rotation, right? At least if you're not, you have a little bit more, a little bit more, and then you can move your hips or you know um, get into your next position. So.